My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma! Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. Hi guys, Glamwa here. Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamwa. Wow, it's been a long time since I've said that. Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamwa. <laughs> so anyway, I know that I told y'all that I was going to be starting DIY projects on here until um, Glamwa gets her groove back when it gets when it comes to crocheting. Um, I don't know why. I'm just a little burnt out on it. The the um, videos take a lot longer to make, to edit, to upload, and so I wanted to try something different, something new, something fresh, but yet be made with love by Glamour. So I was going to, like I said, do my first DIY as a Dollar Tree DIY, but I remembered that I have footage from when I first moved into this home, my childhood home. I don't know if any of y'all remember, but this is my childhood bedroom when I was a teenager. And uh, so yeah, it's just really cool and nostalgic and awesome being back in the house that I was a teenager in. Actually, since I was probably, I don't know, I think I was, I think when I was born, we were living in this house, even though they had to drive to Pearsall, which is really far away. Um, to get to I was born in a hospital in Pearsall, but I think my mom was living my parents were living here When um, when they had to have me they had to hurry up and get to the hospital my mom and dad built this house Cinder block by cinder block by their by themselves with their own two hands. So it's very special to me It's not the most beautiful home. It's a very humble home especially in comparison to the house that I'm coming from in Washington State, which was like a 3,300 square foot house, very beautiful, um, nice community. This one is very humble, and but I love it. I'm very happy here, and I'm trying to beautify it as little or with as little of money as possible, but to make it as cute and adorable as possible. Um, so I forgot that I had footage of when I, the day I moved in, I'll put a picture here of what the kitchen looked like the day that, I mean, it's like an hour after my mom left, I came back into the house, I took pictures of the kitchen, and this is what it looked like. And I don't have a lot of money to put into the house right now, so I thought, how can I make it look adorable on very little money so what I ended up thinking about is just doing a rustic, I don't know, rustic glam look is what my vision is for the end of all this. I'm not even halfway done with it, but I took the cabinets down, we put shelving, open shelving, and my vision was to have an all white kitchen with just um, pops of Tiffany blue here and there, and um, to have a big picnic table in the center of the of the kitchen because according to my family stories um, we used to have a picnic table in the center of the kitchen when we were all growing up because there's 10 of us there was 10 kids and a mom and dad so 12 people in the family so I wanted to keep it still kind of rustic and keep the integrity of the house that I grew up in and so um, these cabinets that you saw in the picture aren't the cabinets that I grew up with, but I guess since I've moved out and my mom's had them replaced, I think we used to have metal cabinets, just like the ones that were on top. She used to have metal cabinets on the bottom and like a ceramic farm style type sink, which I wish she would have kept. I think my sister has it in her house now here in Castroville. But anyway, um, so these aren't the cabinets I grew up with, so it's okay that I'm changing them because I don't feel like I'm, I, like I'm really changing mom's house. I'm just making it more beautiful. So I am going to insert footage here in a minute when I'm done talking to you of when I was sanding the cabinets and um, when I was painting them. I did a lot of research before I did it so that 
it so the paint wouldn't start peeling off because I have a toddler here. I have Petrova here, my grandma baby, who um, when she was using her walker was banging into the cabinets and right now she like gets things and bangs on them. So they're very durable. Um, so you'll see me doing that. And then I'll also insert pictures of when Adam and I were doing the um, shelving as well. And I'm going to save the the picnic table that my son made me. He was in high school when he made me this picnic table. He's 32 now. So I've had this picnic table since he was like 17 years old. Um, but I have it in the center of the kitchen. And my um, idea for it is to whitewash it. I don't want it completely white because I still want some of the wood to come through so that it looks rustic. But my idea is to whitewash that. And of course, I still have to do the flooring. And you'll have to ignore that ugly AC that's in the pictures. Um, eventually, we'll have central heat and air. But for now, we've got window units. So yeah, I've kind of in in what what's the word I'm looking for? Everyone's views of a gorgeous home is what I kind of had in Washington State. So I kind of feel in most people's eyes. They'll probably think I've downgraded, which, you know, maybe I have um, aesthetic wise, but in my heart, it feels good to be here in my childhood home with all the memories. Some were good, some were bad, mostly good, um, especially sitting out in the yard. It's We have a huge, huge yard. I'm giving one of the lots to my son, one of the lots to my daughter, so we can all be here together. They can build their own little home on it and the grandkids can just come and go as they please because we're all on the same property. Um, they used to own the whole block, well actually two blocks. I, we still own this whole block and one lot of the other block, but some of the other lots got sold. Um, and one of the lots that got sold, I bought back when I was in my early 30s and there was already a house on it. I didn't care about the house. It was a nice house, but I wanted to buy that land back for my mom because um, she felt really bad about having sold it. And she kind of got ripped off when she sold it. And so I remember when I was really young, like maybe 13 to 15, I don't remember how old I was. I remember hearing her crying in the kitchen as she was talking to my sister saying, I can't believe I sold the land. And then on top of it, I got ripped off. Um, I thought I would put 3000 for each lot and the person, and when we wrote out the contract, I wrote 3000 for both lots. And so the person, even though he knew that she wanted 3000 per lot, um, he ended up saying, but it says right here, it says 3000 for both, even though he knew what their verbal agreement was. So she was crying and I remember being scared to get up out of bed but I got up out of bed anyway because we used to have to stay in bed till nine o'clock because that was morning time till nine o'clock was her time to sit have coffee relax and just do whatever us moms I, I understand it now back then I didn't understand it like why can't I get up because we need some peace and quiet as moms once in a while I understand it now back then I thought ah, this is so mean <laughs> but anyway I got out of bed even though I was scared of my mom because you know she's a tough she's, she's a tough chick <laughs> Um, and she means business. She had to be tough with 10 kids, you know, and we were all like stepladder kids, all like a year and a half to two years apart. So yeah, she needed this time to herself. So anyway, back to my story. I got out of bed, even though I was scared and I came up behind my mom and I hugged her while she was sitting at the kitchen table. And I said, mommy, please don't cry. I said, one of these days when I'm older, I'm going to buy that land back for you. I promise. Whew, I'm going to start crying. I promise, Mommy, I'm going to get that land back for you. I don't care what it takes. I will. I'll do it. She goes, yeah, yeah, mija, just go back to bed. Go back to bed. So I went back to bed. <clears throat> well, I ended up buying one of those lots. The other lot didn't come up for sale, but one of the lots in my early 30s, so like 15 years later, I was able to fulfill part of my promise, and I bought the land back, and I surprised my mom. <clears throat> like I said, I didn't really care about the house. The house is a three-bedroom home. Um, two baths, but small. It was like 1,050 square feet. This house is like 1,200 square feet. Um, but anyway, 
I surprised my mom. I went and looked into it. I saw it for sale and she said, oh, mija, the, the, the land is for sale over there. The, the one that, one of the ones that I sold. I said, oh, really? And I said, oh, well, I'll have to go and, and, and check it out, you know, see what the price is. And anyway, I, I, I didn't tell her, but um, on a Monday I went, I checked it out and then I went to the office that of the realtor that was selling it and they drew up the papers I signed the papers and by Thursday I had the keys in my hand so I walked over here and I said mommy let's go for a walk so we went for a walk that way you can almost see the house back there you can see it from my yard from my window um, I said let's go for a walk I said, let's go look at that house again. I said, God, I really wish I could have that land like I, so I could keep my promise to you that I was going to buy it for you. So we go walking, and then my kids are with me too, and my dogs. And, and so we're walking in front of it. She goes, yeah, it would be really nice to have that. And I said, hey, Daniel, go see if the door's open. And so he went, and we start walking up the sidewalk. And he goes, no, Mom, it's locked. And uh, he says, I can, and he already knew that I was going to surprise my mom, so he's playing along. He goes, um, I can try to see if there's a window open. I say, yeah, sure, go ahead. And so as he's pretending to try to get the door, he goes, um, to get the window open, my mom's like, I no, no, mija, don't do that. We're going to get in trouble. And I said, oh, I said, well, maybe we should use these. And I dangled the keys in front of her. And she goes, que? What? I said, mommy, it's ours. I said, I bought it back. The land is ours again. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and she gave me a big hug. And I said, I love you, mommy. I said, I know that you thought that I was just some snotty nosed kid who didn't know what I was talking about when I said I would buy this land back for you. But I remembered my promise to you. It's ours again, mom. It's in the Garcia family again. So anyway, we hug. <laughs> And she says, I me had. <laughs> so we open up the, the door and we walk in and I couldn't believe it was mine. Not only was the land back in the family name again, but I had a home for me and my two kids. I was single at the time. My son was 16 and Finesse was like 10 years old and I didn't have a home at the time. I was living with my cousin, my cousin Bill and uh, so I killed two birds with one stone. As a single mom, I was able to buy my kids our first home and I was able to buy our land back. Um, once I married Adam, he had a home. We had my home over here. We went and lived in his home and Daniel lived in this one for a while when he turned 18. And then we moved to Washington State and he couldn't handle the payment of the house. So he asked me to sell it. So we sold it and I wish I wouldn't have sold it. I wish we'd have done something else. I wish we'd have just come back from Washington and just lived there because Every week I, I drive by to make sure it's not for sale. If it's ever for sale, I am going to do whatever it takes to get that land back again. So anyway, ah, I'm sorry. I'll compose myself. Anyway, that's the story of this house and that land. But more importantly, at least I'm in the house that my mom and dad built with their very two hands. She designed it. She said, I want this wall here. I want this here. I want that there. I want, and he did the actual work. She put up some of the walls too. Um, but I didn't know this until recently. It's already a 13 minute video. Sorry. Um, I didn't know this till recently because I always thought when I was in the bathroom, I thought this looks like an add on because everything else is cinder blocks, but the bathroom 
has sheetrock. So I asked one of my sisters, my older sisters, I said, it's weird that there's sheetrock in the bathroom. She goes, yeah, there didn't used to be a bathroom when we first had the house, when, when mom and dad first built the house. And we used to have an outhouse. I'm like, oh my word. And I forgot to ask her where that outhouse was located just because I want to know. I almost want to build another, just not a real outhouse, but just like a little structure to make it look like an outhouse from the outside um, and put it exactly where it used to be. But anyway, so... This might not be anything to you guys to watch this little DIY and I didn't film a whole lot so but I thought I would make this my very first DIY for this channel and then my second DIY is going to be of me making the um, I'll put a picture right here you see those pretty um, bouquet floral balls that I made for Jemmy and the two girls well I made those and I did a lot of filming I filmed when I went to dollar store to Dollar Tree to go get the flowers and um, and I also filmed as I was making them so that'll be my second DIY and maybe by then um, I can do my Dollar Tree DIY because I've been going to Dollar Tree periodically to I'm, I've got something in mind I want to make two chunky candlestick holders as my first Dollar Tree DIY but they don't have enough of the stuff that I need I bought all four of the of the little things that I need, but that's all they had was four. I need four more. So hopefully by the time I do these two DIYs, Dollar Tree will um, have replenished their stock and uh, I can do my, D my Dollar Tree DIY, okay? So anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to insert all the footage and then I'll come back and say goodbye to you guys. All right, have fun, enjoy. <laughs> a bedroom because it does have a closet right here two closets as a matter of fact um, but I'm gonna make this into the formal living room let's get it to focus come on it's not focusing um, but this house is all made of cinder blocks like that so it's really hard to know how to um, I don't know decorate it but this is the house I grew up in and my mom never really did anything with it but I'm gonna try to decorate it in a way to where it looks decent it's really messy right now because when my mom moved out last Saturday she left all her stuff here except for her clothes so I'm in the process of getting rid of, rid of things this is the kitchen and we took all the cabinets down and so that's the old paint from I guess when she put the cabinets up and so my idea is that I'm taking the cabinets down and I'm going to put shelving units there and that's where I'm gonna have my bowls and my cups and my plates and everything but this whole house is made of cinder blocks and uh, yeah right now the lighting's making everything look yellow, but as you can see, that's yellow, um, and then right there is white. We're doing everything in white because I was thinking, what can I do to decorate a house that is old, 
but that I can at least make it look like I purposely made the house look old. So what my mom had done is she, you see those, uh, the conduit, the electrical boxes? She used to always paint over it with whatever color wall she was painting. But what I decided to do was to go ahead and acknowledge the fact that those are conduit um, electrical tubes or whatever you call it. I'm not even sure if conduit is the right word. But anyway, so what I did is I went ahead and bought some aluminum paint and just go ahead and painted these. And I think it looks really good with the white paint. Um, like I said, this camera is making it look yellow, but it's not yellow, it's white. And so this is all my mom's stuff. It's really old. I'm going to replace the door. But this is the house I grew up in. Um, and this is all her stuff that I, uh, I have to get rid of and stuff. Um, and so what I'm going to do is the whole house, the whole thing is going to be white with shelving. And I want to give it like a kind of a beachy look. So we're gonna have like blue bowls and blue cups and plates and stuff. And I'm thinking I'm going to paint the lower cabinets in the same color blue as the bowls and plates since everything else is gonna be white. Let me show you what the flooring is gonna look like. This is what the flooring will look like. Cause I thought, like I said, since it's an old house, I don't really want to hide the fact that it's an old house. So let's bring that style out. So yeah, this is what the flooring will look like. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to have a lot of uh, silver and white. And the flooring has white in it. And we already have um, stainless steel. We already have stainless steel refrigerator and stainless steel um, stove and stuff. And so the cabinets that we took down are right here. looks like a grandma's taste and uh, so yeah we took them down but I don't want to get rid of them because my mom loved them so we're going to build a little bit of a riser down there and then I'm gonna get a uh, like a butcher block countertop and then I'm gonna put shelving over here as well yeah it's a pretty big kitchen and then in storage I have um, we're gonna take that down I have a nice crystal chandelier that's gonna hang there and I think we're gonna put a, uh, a picnic table there that my son made. So yeah, and then I'm gonna get an apron farmer sink right there. And so the house is messy because my brother is still living in it. He was taking care of my mom. And uh, so he's still living in it. He's leaving tomorrow. And so he's got stuff all over the place. So you come down the hall, there's the laundry room. And I just painted my craft room pink today. So this is going to be my craft room. I did the um, pipes or conduits or whatever you call it. There's the color that it was before I painted it. And uh, I got tired of painting and so Adam is doing the edging. Hello everybody, how you doing? <laughs> He's doing She's all making me work. <laughs> He's doing all the edging, but this is the room that when I was a teenager used to be my room. Um, so yeah, I remember sitting on my twin bed right there and looking out the window and one time I just looked at myself in the mirror over here at this wall I used to have a dresser with a mirror and I remember looking in the mirror and I just got out my sketch pad and I drew myself looking out the window and stuff and it was really cool I used to love to to draw and stuff so let me take this down but anyway I'm gonna have white sheer curtains in here so whenever you uh, See the room in the background from now on this is the room you're gonna see no, my, chi room my room. childhood my childhood bedroom <laughs> and then right across the hall is another room I don't know if the lights on in here yeah so this is a bright color this is the room that my mom was sleeping in it's kind of an apartment because it has a bedroom and then it has a little kitchen the, my sister that painted it likes vibrant colors. She's the one that chose the purple. And then in the kitchen, she's got an orange. <laughs> so we're gonna fix a lot of stuff up. And there's a bathroom right here. That goes to outside. And so yeah, it's got built-in shelving. 
And here's a cool door that my brother, the one that's leaving tomorrow, he built this cool door. And look at the handle. Look at the handle that he made even. That is so awesome. Made it out of wood, isn't that cool? So okay, I've shown you the front room, I've shown you the kitchen, I've shown you my craft room. And then this was one of the bedrooms. This house has four bedrooms. So this is the laundry room. So I'm doing this filming to show you all the befores because I have lots of plans for each of these rooms. This house has never really been decorated. Um, Mom's always just done whatever she could with it, with whatever kind of paint or whatever kind of things that she could find at yard sales and stuff. My mom was very frugal and which is really good because she had to raise 10 kids. So this is the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so we've got some plans for this room too. Here's the laundry room. Okay, now we're back down the hallway and we've got doors over here. Like I said, the house is a mess, but later I'll give you a tour of what it all looks like when we're all done. And so straight over there is the door we came from. That's the front formal room. Now we're gonna walk. There's Adam. Bye, craft room. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. And yeah, we're, we uh, sold the refrigerator, and so we've got our stainless steel that we're gonna move in here, and we've got a stainless steel stove. So there's the front room I already showed you. And my son is here cutting my brother's hair, but this is the living room, and we already painted this white too. I won't show you everyone, because they probably don't want to be on camera. So um, that wedge right there, the couch wedge, um, we're, we've got another piece that goes right here. Hi, Jemmy. Even though I said you weren't going to be in it, you're real blurry anyway. So there's a piece that goes there, piece that goes there. There's a door to the little apartment that is going to be Finesse and Petrova's apartment. Oh, and we got it. Say hi to the Petrova. Hi, Glamour Girl. Hi. Say hi to all my crochet friends. <laughs> and so there's a bookshelf with movies at Finesse. Um, unloaded six these are the boxes she unloaded for me today and uh, yeah so we're gonna do something with this door we're gonna buy a nice door over here there's one two three there's four doors that lead outside <laughs> so we're gonna get some nice doors here's a bay window that my mom put in years ago like I said everything's messy once again here's these uh, pipes that I said I painted I so love it. Over here is another bookshelf. There's my son Daniel, and there's my brother Alex, and we're gonna put it, put our TV right there. And this is going to be mine and Adam's bedroom. This used to be my mom's bedroom when I was growing up. So it has two windows, which is awesome. Let's in a lot of light. So we're gonna paint this a Tiffany blue because I've always wanted to sleep in a Tiffany box. <laughs> Well, not literally wanted to sleep in a Tiffany box, but, you know, I've always wanted to sleep with Tiffany on my mind. So this is it. So right now we're going to be living in it and we'll be purchasing it soon. And so, yeah, this has, it has, let me see, the property has five lots. So it's the whole block of this, of this little area. We're purchasing the whole block. <laughs> So, okay, this is it. I will give you updates on what we've done and what it's looking like later on. Alrighty, so I just wanted to show you this video because I'm probably not gonna get a crochet video up because we're busy doing all this renovating and stuff. So I just wanted to let you know why. <laughs> why you're not gonna get crochet videos from me for at least a week or so. Yep, gotta paint the ceiling still, see? My poor mom lived in the house like this the whole time. No one fixed it up for her. Um, then I'm, yeah, so anyway. So yeah, that looks like a mess. <laughs> Grease pots up there from all the cooking she did. C cabinets have been here since I was 12 years old. So yeah, there was a lot of gunk behind there. So I've cleaned some of the wall and there's the cabinets, like I said, that came from there. So alrighty guys.
Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamour and Glam It Up with Glamour. I'm probably going to put these on both my channels. But anyway, I've been talking to y'all about how I moved into my childhood home and that we're renovating it. Well, we're doing it all by ourselves and we're probably not doing it professionally the way it should be done, but at least we'll have a nicer looking home by the time we're done with it. So what I'm doing is I'm roughing up the cabinets because I want to paint them white, but I wanted to show you what they look like before I do it. So that's them now. These knobs right here, I already painted silver because um, when we moved in, they were they were like a cream color with little houses. They looked very countryish. <laughs> so I just painted them silver since the since uh, we've got a stainless steel um, refrigerator and stove and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just basically just roughing it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna dust it off, and then we're gonna paint it white. And we bought some handles. I don't know if you can see what the handles look like. We're gonna put some handles on here like that, and then we're gonna get we're gonna eventually change these out for the ones that kind of look like that that you can pull them like that so we're going to do that eventually but anyway i just wanted to show you the before and then hopefully they're going to come out cute and i'll show you the after Alrighty, guys bye hi everyone glamo here <clears throat> as you know i'm doing home renovations in my childhood family home and uh, right now i'm getting ready to uh, paint those cabinets right there. Last night, um, we uh, sanded them lightly, and so now I am going to paint them. I started sanding them yesterday during the day, but I don't think I had the right grit of paper, so my husband bought some on his way home, and then he kind of finished the job for me, so that's awesome. So okay, this is, I think it's called an antique white, which is the same color that I'm using in the kitchen, only I'm using a high gloss because it's going on the cabinets. So yeah, let's get started. Pour some in here. Okay. I forgot I had bought this handy dandy little thing here. Darn it. I forgot that I had bought this little spill thingy, and now it's probably too late to use it. Because I've got paint all over everything. Let's see what we can do here. I'm already making a mess. Yes, I am. Yes, 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 I am. Oh well, it's okay. I'm not even sure how this works anyway. Okay, oh, that would have been really handy. Well, I can't even get it on though. So I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but you can even close it up so that air doesn't get in there and dry your paint out. Yay. All right, let's get started with the painting. Let me get this over here. You can watch me make a complete mess. <laughs> All right. And I don't know if you should have trusted me with this, Adam. We'll see what happens. All right. So here we go. And I've also got a little brush to get into the little crevices there. And I've got paint on my fingers. I think it's going to be pretty though. This is going to really brighten up the uh, kitchen. So you're supposed to sand it lightly, put a coat of paint on, let it dry, <clears throat> and then sand it lightly again, and then paint it again. I think you're supposed to do that two or three times. I don't know if we're going to do it that many times or not. It doesn't have to be that professional of a job because I'm kind of going for a rustic look in the kitchen anyway so if it's not perfect it kind of goes with what's going on already <laughs> uh, 
All right, so I'm going to shut the camera off. I don't want this to be too boring. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing today. So I'm using this little brush for the <clears throat> little divots here. These little, whatever you would call them in the cabinet. Looking pretty. I painted all the cabinets, sanded and painted. Papa sanded and I painted. A couple coats and then sanded and then painted. And now he's putting door knobs, I mean cabinet knobs on. And these are the ones that are going to go on the drawers. And I chose crystal ones for the bottom because we're going to put my crystal chandelier here in the kitchen. So he's marking all the spots right now so that he can put my little crystal knobs on. Yay! I love them. I love them. Look at, look at, look at how pretty full. Yay. Yep. Yay! He's done measuring. Now he's going to drill more holes to put my crystal knobs. You drill all of them first? Yeah. Yeah, if I was using the crystal knobs on the top, there's already holes there, but no, nope, I want those vintage moon-shaped um, handles right there. I want what I want. Hey, gosh, just painting them white makes such a difference. Opens up the kitchen, brightens it up. And makes it look crisp and clean. We just got to get the floors done and new countertops. But step by step. You should have already drilled that hole too. Just yeah, I think I'm going to. Real quick, so I have it done. Where do you want to put the knobs in since I'm recording you right now? Might as well put the knobs in. Oh, all right, let me just stop it. That's his booty. <laughs> pretty, so pretty. <gasps> Don't show how messy my cupboards are. Just kidding, they're not that messy. All right, these are old cupboards, so they don't even close well, so we're gonna have to figure something out to actually keep them closed. Some kind of latch on the inside. Hello, Safety. The latch Safety latch, especially because Petrova's Petrol getting ready to crawl already. Anyway. Are you playing with Petrova's new toy, Cassidy? Yeah. <laughs> I just got it for her today. Is it the worm? Huh? Is it the worm? What worm? Oh, I just bought her a little caterpillar worm looking toy today. Oh, um, I think it's a cat toy. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I'm not there you go. Yay! Step back and let me take a gander. Cool, I don't want to show too much of the countertop because it's messy right now, but that's what we got so far. See, next will be floors one day soon. <laughs> Count countertops and floors, but yay! Pretty!
Wow! Cassie, Look at how item. pretty! Good job! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, nice! We just gotta fix that bottom cabinet later. Yeah. Wow! Look at how nice! Let me get a shot. Awesome. I know the kitchen's messy, but wow, look at how good that looks. Yay! Awesome. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that footage. I know the house is a hot mess and this is the house I'm living in. Um, it doesn't, well you saw some of the beginning footage where um, my husband was painting, my family was here, my brother was still here, he now lives in Washington. Um, we were all just kind of here visiting because we were doing stuff in the house and you saw how poorly the house looked. Um, I'm not going to take you around and show you every room of the house yet because I'm not done with the house yet. But as I finish a room, I will make more DIY or I will make I will make videos showing you footage. But I haven't done anything to the bathroom. I haven't done anything to really anything but the kitchen, and even that is not done. Um, but anyway, I'm happy with what we've done so far. We have a whole lot more work to go. We have all the flooring to do. As you can see, we still have the um, old wood looking stick on tiles throughout the whole house is what we have, just stick on tiles. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that. And let me know down below um, if you wanna see more home renovation DIYs or if you'd rather me just stick to actual um, making stuff. Alrighty guys. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. And thank you so much for being patient. And um, even though I'm not making crochet tutorials right now, I'm sure I'll be throwing a crochet tutorial in here and there. Um, so yeah, 
who knows, you might like my DIYs more than my crochet. So maybe I can just keep them all intermixed. DIYs, crochet, DIYs, crochet. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I love you. Bye. Thank you for watching our Glamour's channel. Yeah. <laughs>